Hello everyone, for today's video is I'm going to show you my practice exercise on power generation on gold ship. So on this scenario, we are just going to start the emergency generator and then connect it to the emergency bus bar. And then afterwards, we need to start also uh, diesel generators number one and two, and then connect it to the main bus bar. So let's start. So now it is still on a freeze condition. We need to start it making this blue button and then click play. Now it's running. Okay. So let's go to the process directory. Go here in the emergency generator. And then there are two ways on starting the emergency generator. You can start it via battery or via by hydraulic. So on this I will use electric start or battery start. So I'm just going to start it immediately by clicking the start button. Okay, our emergency generator is now running. So I'm going to go to the switchboard and uh, I'm going to put the voltage controller on and put the engine controller in automatic. So this should automatically connect to the emergency bus bar. Okay, now it's connected. So I'm going to put all the breakers in the emergency switchboard to in. Okay. Then afterwards, I'm just going to uh, prepare also the main switchboard starters, so I'm going to switch the breakers in. Same also here in the main switchboard feeders. Put all the breakers in. Okay, all breakers in. So now I'm going to proceed on the diesel generator number one and I'm going to set it up. So first, I'll go to the starting air, make sure that we will have an air over here. So I'm going to open these valves and we can just start this emergency compressor. So put it local and put it on. So our pressure here should increase and once done, you can put it in remote, put, the, put it on automatic. So go here in the panel directory, go here in the auto control, okay. Now it's increasing. So let's go back to DG1 and as what you can see, we have low level on some tank. We need to top it up. And we need to set up the lines of our lube oil system. Put this pump on automatic. You can also put the preheater to automatic.
once the level is normal we can just uh, close this wall and let's continue here so we can use diesel going to our dg1 so I, we need to open these valves going to dg1 and 2 so you can also open to the fuel oil system to the boiler okay open this shuttle valve also this valve so we're finished so the next thing we need to do is the seawater system so we need to set it up also open these valves go into the dg1 and dg2 put the temperature controller automatic and put this overboard valve to open and once done you can start the auxiliary pump so let's go back to dg1 and the only remaining here is the air pressure so we need to wait uh, until 12 bars or more Okay, we have already a 12 bars. We can uh, try to start our diesel generator number one. So to start, just click start. Okay, our diesel generator number one is now running. So if there are alarms, so just acknowledge it. This low boil will be warmed up and as well as our uh, cooling water will be warmed up also. Okay, so put it in remote. Go here on the electric power plant and you can put the voltage controller on. Go here on semi auto synchroscope and uh, put it on DG1 and try to connect. DG number one is now connected. So, the first thing we need to do here is that we need to check that everything is in, in position. This one in. 
okay and then go to the seawater system so just acknowledge the alarms Just acknowledge the alarms, go here on the seawater system and run the seawater pump. Okay, so this should be increased and don't forget to put it in remote. Go to the panel directory and put it on automatic. Okay. Let's go back here and check the parameters. So this should increase a little bit more later. So the next thing we need to do is we need to set up as well our diesel generator number two. So here, the same thing we did on diesel generator number one, we need to line up the valves and uh, prepare it. So starting here, I'll open this valve, go into DG2 and then top up the lube oil open this valve, put this uh, pump, lube oil pump in automatic same also with the preheater, put it in automatic and we have already opened the valves going to the diesel generators, right? so we only need to open this shut off valve and same also with this valve so once you have already reached the normal level for some tank, you can just close. Okay, so everything is set up. We can also start our diesel generator number two. Let's click start. Diesel generator number two is now running. Put it in remote. Go here. So if there are alarms, just acknowledge. So for this one, you can also just open. Since we have already see water pump in automatic, go back to digital. Okay. So once done, you can put it on automatic, so voltage controller on, and we need to connect also <coughs> DG2 to our main bus bar. So if there are alarms, just acknowledge, this will be normalized later, our engine is easy easy uh, warming up. So as so what you can see, we cannot use our semi auto synchroscope. Now it's ready, it's showing ready. So here, as what you can see, our diesel generator number two is just too fast. Therefore, our frequency is uh, too much, so we need to reduce it. 
So in order to do that, we need to go here on the panel directory, diesel generator number two, then reduce a little bit our frequency. So I need to decrease via governor. So as you can see, it's reducing. Afterwards, check again. So, so as you can see, it's still a little bit fast. You, we need to again reduce it. Okay, let's go back. Check again. So, see, our <coughs> DG2 is already giving a normal voltage and frequency, so we can just start synchronizing so in order to synchronize you just you just need to uh, go here in the panel directory so generator number two and okay now it's already synchronized so I repeat after you have already attained the right voltage and frequency you just need to uh, click connect on the circuit breaker so we are already finished using the synchroscope you can just turn it off and go back here on the electric power plant and as what you can see, our diesel generator number one and number two are now running on parallel. So don't forget also to switch on this bus type. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and Bye-bye, uh, ciao.